Hologram Electronics have smashed it out of the park yet again. It's been several years since they released their masterpiece, the Microcosm, and they've unleashed a new piece of wizardry onto the pedal effects world with the Chroma console. I spent some serious time with the Chroma console recently and I wanted to share what I learned with you. So please join me over the next five or six videos. I've shot a short series of videos and broken them up into five to 10 minute bite-sized chunks. That means at the end, you'll be able to harness the power and creativity that sits within this fantastic pedal and bend it to your will. So if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, sit back and let's dive deeper into the Chroma console from Hologram Electronics. So these controls essentially work in columns. So we have got the red column, yellow, green, blue for simple terms, character, movement, diffusion, and texture. And we're gonna start with character in today's video. So character does kind of what it says. It's almost the gain stage part of the pedal. We've got drive, we've got what they call sweeten, fuzz, howl, and swell. And two controls, tilt and amount. And both of these dials have got hidden or secondary features. Let's start with the first sound, which you'll see is drive with a red square next to it. We're gonna hit the button, which will go red to indicate we are in drive. All the way to the right, nice and bright. That's 12 o'clock, somewhere in the middle. And the amount is probably what you can guess, the amount of overdrive. So if we go to the left, barely tell that the pedal's on. We go all the way to the right. Okay, so that is drive. Now I'm gonna introduce one layer of complexity immediately because it's the same for every setting. You'll notice on the grayed out bar here on the Chroma console that there's four words and uh, some symbols on here which are four circles. Some of them are clear, some of them are filled in. We're gonna look at secondary, the top one there. So you notice there are four dots, two of them, the first and the second are filled in white and that indicates these four buttons here. So what that means is if we press the first two, you'll see them flash we literally just press and let go, and then we are in secondary mode. So underneath the tilt dial and the amount dial, we've got two different words in lighter, non-bold gray, which is sensitivity and effect volume. So clicking the two buttons that are filled into the left, secondary, takes us into secondary mode. And then for character, we can adjust both the sensitivity and the effect volume. So for character, the secondary measure dials in essentially headroom. So it lets you determine your the breakup point of the pedal. So let's have an example of that. We're in secondary mode, the lights are flashing. We're gonna turn this all the way to the left and then hit it again to come back out. Hit it again, and go all the way to the right. That means that at a moderate amount on drive, you can already hear the tone starting to break up. If we dime that, so get the amount on full. Okay, let's look at the second character type, which is yellow and sweeten. So that's adding some really nice compression as we increase the amount, some more saturation. So let's just increase that further. Lovely, lovely compressed overdriven sound. I really, really like that. Let's go to green, which is fuzz. And this is where it starts getting a little bit nastier. So the really interesting thing about both the fuzz and the howl, which I'll come to in a minute, is you can get a really wide range of sounds out of it, which you wouldn't necessarily think from, from two controls here, but it is really sensitive. They make significant changes to the sound as you adjust the dial. So let's have a play. <laughs>
Let's have it. <laughs> earlier just in the tilt dial just slightly really does change the eq of the fuzz what i can hear is some real subtle removal of mids and low mids as we move our way up <laughs> pretty damn fun we're going to go to howl now which is a whole nother level of fun let's go back to midday and we're in blue which is howl so this is a fuzz but this has got a resonant filter that sits within it and again the tilt controls that so if we go all the way to the left I think the drive suite and fuzz and howl also would be really impacted by the type of guitar player. Humbucker, this thing would sound totally different. Hang on a second. Yeah. I can't not get one right. <gasps> Where's my <me> cable? <laughs> go to swell so this is a swell uh, but it's an envelope triggered one so impacted by the attack or the aggressiveness that you play your strings <laughs> adjusts the attack and the decay time. So all the way to the right, and the signal takes slightly longer to come in in volume. And the secondary function for swell is slightly different. We click into that and we can adjust the sensitivity. And in this instance, under swell, this is gonna adjust the sensitivity to which your attack impacts or brings in the, the signal.
it's all the way to the left. You really have to pick at your guitar to, to get the volume to come in. should be a lot easier. So we go, video number one on the Chroma console from Hologram Electronics. We have covered off character, shown you the five different sounds that you've got within there and how to manipulate that sound using both the primary and secondary functions. If you haven't yet, then hit subscribe. I've got literally hundreds of videos here on the channel that are gonna help you to grow and develop your pedal palette. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.